this is a little something called Let God Down. And it's a spin off from uh, J. Cole's uh, new record, Let Nas Down. J. Cole frustrated because he let Nas down. Imagine how I feel since I let God down. Did I let God down? Yep, I let God down. Daily I add a thorn and push that crown down. On the head of the king, not Lebron or T.I. My money says in God we trust, but do I? Nah, I lie. No Buddha, no Allah. In a war with one ally. If I turn my back on God, he still lives, but I die. How can I trust him with my money and my gold? But I pick apart his word in relation to my soul and salvation. Last I checked, it was Genesis to Revelation. But some of it hurts, so I'll just take what I want and discard other pages. I treat the Bible like it's a made-to-order menu. Give me some numbers, proverbs, and a couple scriptures from Galatians. Man, I let God down. How could I let God down? Nas is God's son. I must be his stepchild. See, I let God down when I let my guard down, like the fight was over when he defeated the enemy. Little did I know now that the enemy is now the enemy. It's true these words are being spoken by a sinner B. Cinemark says silence is golden, but that's only when watching movies. I was taught that silence is acceptance. So if I don't raise my voice in objection, it's as if I accept it. The opposition used to be forced to turn to their fear. But now they keep ears wide open because no words are even spoken to hear. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed for the sin that was present. So if it's the same God in different times, what types of outcomes should be expected? I hope God will see my heart is right even when my actions don't show it. I had to put this on the web to avoid being a misquoted poet. And if I don't speak up, I give permission to the situation to worsen. Notice that I take responsibility for my own inaction. That's why I wrote this in first person. One nation under God? Man, I let God down.